In this presentation, I am going to explain what a vaccine vial monitor is and how it works. A vaccine vial monitor is a time temperature indicator applicable to a vial of vaccine. This product is a trademarked as a heat marker and produced by a company named Temtime Corporation. The vaccine vial monitor, or commonly called now VVM, is a product that is used to indicate the cumulative heat exposure of a vial of vaccine. It indicates to health workers whether the cumulative heat history of the product has exceeded a preset limit. The VVM is labeled placed on the vial. You can easily recognize it. It is characterized by this round shape of a lavender color containing a lighter square. This square contains a heat sensitive material which by changing its color will indicate the cumulative heat exposure over time. To understand how VVM works, it is first necessary to understand the thermostability of vaccines. Vaccines, as any other pharmaceuticals, are subjected to a decay with time. Vaccines are biologicals and as such are sensitive to the temperature they are exposed to. Vaccines are affected by heat. In addition, some vaccines can be affected by freezing as well as light. Vaccines contain a known quantity of proteins capable to generate an immune response. This is what is known as the potency of a vaccine. This quantity diminishes with time at a known speed and in accordance with a given constant temperature. This loss of potency is characteristic for each vaccine from each manufacturer as it is characteristic for each vaccine formulation. For example, looking at the table, you can see that oral polio vaccine is the most heat sensitive, while TT, hepatitis B, and Japanese encephalitis are the least sensitive. This degradation for each vaccine will increase with the temperature at which the vaccine is exposed to. The higher the temperature and the faster the degradation. This degradation is always cumulative. There is no reversible reaction. The normal shelf life of a vaccine that has been kept between 2 and 8 degrees is for most vaccines of two years. However, some have to be kept for a shortened time while others can be kept for much longer. All vaccines have an expiry date indicated on the label. The expiry date is based on the conservation of the vaccine in recommended condition between 2 and 8 degrees Celsius. If the vaccine has been exposed to higher temperature, then the shelf life is shorter. Prior to their application on vials, VVM are kept at negative temperature to prevent color change. Now that we know the thermostability of vaccines, we can define what VVM does. As I explained earlier, the VVM is an indicator that will show the cumulative heat exposure of a vial of vaccine. This will be indicated by a change of color in the inner square. The color of the circle does not change and is called the reference color. The color change inside the square is continuous. As time passes, it becomes gradually slightly darker and darker. At the start point, the color of the square is lighter than the circle. The vaccine can be used as long as the square is lighter than the circle. When the color of the square matches the color of the circle, the vaccine has reached its end point. The vaccine cannot be used anymore, even if the expiry date has not been reached. The color change inside the square will continue and become darker than the color of the circle. The vaccine has largely exceeded its endpoint and cannot be used. As I had mentioned earlier, each vaccine from each manufacturer is characterized by its own degradation as a function of the temperature it is exposed to. It would be difficult to have one specific VVM for each vaccine formulation. That is why there are different categories of VVMs. If we represent the degradation of a vaccine on a chart, with the time in days on the y-axis in a log scale and the temperature of the x-axis 
we see that the de degradation follows a straight line called Arrhenius curve. Knowing that all vaccines follow the same pattern, as soon as the coordinates of two points are known, we can design its curve. The thermostability data of all vaccines can be matched in four VVM types, defined as VVM2, VVM7, VVM14, and VVM30. The number characterizes the number of days to reach the endpoint when the vaccine is exposed at constant temperature of 37 degrees. This table here summarizes different levels of stability characteristics of vaccines and types of VVMs that are assigned to them. VVM2, for the least heat stable vaccine, reaches its endpoint in two days at 37 degrees. VVM7 reaches its endpoint in seven days at 37 degree, and VVM14 in 14 days at 37, VVM30 for the most heat stable vaccines in 30 days at 37 degree. On this same table, you can also see the various endpoints when the vaccine is exposed to 25 degree as well as 5 degree. The type of VVM for one vaccine is assigned by WHO on the basis of its thermostability. All OPVs match the category VVM2 and all monovalent hepatitis B VVM30. However, vaccines made by different manufacturers may have different heat stability characteristics and may therefore be assigned to different categories by WHO. A BCG made by manufacturer X might use a VVM30 while a BCG made by manufacturer Y might need a VVM14. Since the VVM reaction rates differ by, cat by category, a VVM on one product should never be compared to another VVM on another product. For example, VVM7 reacts 4.3 times faster than the VVM30 under the same temperature conditions. VVM should only be compared within the same type of vaccine coming from the same manufacturer. In the case of combined vaccines, the VVM assigned is the one of the antigen being the least stable. For instance, in DTP, the least stable component is the pertussis. Therefore, the VVM assigned for DTP is the one based on the thermostability of pertussis. In summary, a VVM mimics the degradation of the vaccine it is attached to by changing color at a speed which is a function of the temperature it is exposed to. This change of color indicates to the health worker if a vaccine can be used or not. It has proved to be a very useful tool through its numerous applications.